America's favorite, number one. Where else could you have so much fun? That's why you never I think it's about time you learned the roles of advertising. These are factors that one needs to keep in mind when making an ad. The factors of advertisement are marketing and communication. Marketing is satisfying a customer's wants and needs by providing products. We as consumers need or want things in order to make life easier. With any product, there is always a lot of competitors, and their job is to come up on top, even if it's the same thing with a different label. Communication is advertising a message to a consumer about a product. This is designed to create a response, and so with ads, it's usually pretty obvious what they stand for or what they believe in. Now I could spend all day on every single different form of ad, but since I don't want to waste your time, I'll only talk about the ones that you most likely see in your day-to-day -day life. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. So what makes an ad effective? Well, it needs to get your attention. Nowadays, it's easy to ignore a brand. That's why those 5 to 15 seconds of an ad have to be pristine and interesting to keep you going. An example of an ad that does this successfully is X-Zero Shoes. With me personally, I enjoy being entertained, and even though this guy is selling me a product, he does it in a way that makes me actually want to watch the full video. I'll play about 10 seconds to show you what I mean. Quick question for you. Do your feet feel better at the end of the day than they did at the beginning of the day? If your answer is no, you're not alone, and the reason is going to surprise you. It's not what Big Shoe has been telling you. Big Shoe companies tell you it's because you need arch support or padding or motion control or because you pronate or supinate or your eyes are the wrong color or your mortgage is too high or whatever it is they tell you. What he asks you a question and pulls you in. And that's what you need to do in advertising in order to keep someone interested. This is a very popular technique which uses fear and emotion to convince its audience into doing what they want. This is seen in ads for animal shelters or people in need of donations. Another popular example would be smoking and vaping campaigns, which they're attempting to scare you into what they ask. This is when a company offers the consumers their own products for free, just a snippet of them at least, to convince you to buy more. This is seen in some average grocery stores as a free sample. Again, something small in order to convince you into buying their products. This type of advertisement is used to convince the customer to join the group of people who buy this product already, or be on the winning side. This is used on signs or sometimes in ads just to boast that if people already buy this product, it must be good. Hence why it's called bandwagon advertising. This is similar in some cases with bandwagon advertisements, but has a clear distinction. Facts and statistics is always a company showing some form of proof that their company must be good because of this statistic. Or the opposite. But this could be about anything, such as 30 or 40 percent fat. It's a statistic, so it must mean it's good. But of course, with any statistic, you can always change it to make it either good or bad. This is basically advertisers having you finish the sentence for them. With this example, Lay's, you can't just eat one, or Pringles, once you pop you can't stop, physically you can. They're not saying you can or can't, but simply hinting at it. This is a personal favorite of mine, just because they seem like personal digs to their competitors. For example, this Papa John's ad, better ingredients, better pizza. They aren't saying they're better than Little Caesars or anything, they're just stating an opinion. That's what I love about it. This one's everywhere. Endorsements are pretty well known, essentially just a famous guy or girl spouting off about a product. Next. This is basically like when you try and butter up your parents before asking them for something. The company is complimenting you and trying to make you think their product is perfect for you. Like this one. Because you're worth it. You hear that? I'm worth buying their product. 
The Bribe, another of my favorites. When a company gives you something extra for their product, like getting a free toy in a cereal box or buy one get one free. This is different from promotional advertising because in those cases you're getting a piece of the product for free, whereas with this you always have to pay for a product in order to get a bonus. In conclusion, every day people are fighting for your time and advertising is just another way for people to get it from you. So good luck in life and when you go on to watch another video, I hope you don't receive an ad.